Okay, so you are considering Angular for your next project. Well, I have some pretty good news for you. This is probably one of the best decisions you can make these days. Despite all the haters, and I'm gonna be honest, I was one of those haters for a long time, Angular has a lot going for it. First of all, obviously, it is backed by a well-funded, dedicated team committed to both long-term maintenance and the addition of exciting new features. Second, it is a widely adopted framework, especially in enterprise software. Hey, stop rolling your eyes. I know enterprise is not that exciting, but we can't all work at fancy new startups, burning investors' money to build whatever the current trend is. It's AI, we all know the trend is AI. Some of us would like to actually get some shit done and, preferably, to also enjoy some of those sweet big corporation perks. And if that's the case, Angular is the safest bet. Finally, Angular adapted to the modern web requirements and went through some major overhauls. You'll be surprised to find out that Angular is robust, easy to use and offers a great dev experience these days, so let's look at some of the key aspects that make this framework a great tool for building any type of web application. If you worked with Angular in the past but failed to keep up with the more recent updates, you are in for a big surprise. The dev experience is really different compared to a few years back. Components can be standalone, so no more headaches with unnecessary modules, the Zone.js based reactivity was replaced with a much more efficient, fine-grained signals based solution, and the new built-in control flow can be used instead of the previous structural directives. These are the building blocks behind any modern web app, and fully understanding them is a must if you want to be an efficient developer. Quick side note, I'm posting more deep dives into web frameworks and core programming concepts for the channel members, and you can join us by clicking the button down below. Here is the thing, we all like to follow trends, and we get easily distracted by cool new shiny features. However, these don't really matter in production. The real world cares about scalability, efficient processes and low-cost, maintainable code. And these are usually the result of strict conventions, opinionated decisions and a wide range of internal tools aimed to impose coding standards. Angular comes back with a lot of such built-in features. User input and validation can be easily managed through powerful reactive forms. These provide a model-driven approach to handling form inputs whose values change over time through a combination of form controls, groups and validators. Also, single-page app navigation can be handled via the Angular router and you have access to built-in solutions even for topics such as server-side communication, animations or multi-language support. All these are complemented by one of the best CLI tools in the industry and good testing support. So the main advantage when working with Angular is that for most use cases you don't have to rely on other third-party libraries. Everything is bundled directly in the framework, offering a unified dev experience and good code quality. This is why I always advise people to thoroughly go through the Angular documentation, which is really well written by the way. You'll be surprised by the sheer number of features Angular is offering. You can't talk about modern web development without mentioning one of the most important shifts in recent history, moving rendering back on the server. There are various benefits when working with SSR and hydration, and this is the main reason we got flooded with so many meta frameworks in recent years. And guess what? Angular comes with its own SSR implementation, which helps you improve your app performance, get better core web vitals, and, of course, build more SEO-friendly apps. You can opt in into SSR when starting a new project from the CLI, and most of the heavy work is done under the hood for you. SSR is then paired with Angular's hydration process to prevent doing extra work to recreate dumb nodes and avoid bad user experiences such as UI flickers or layout shifts. So, trust me, Angular is a safe bet for both your one-man pet project and for enterprise apps built by large teams of developers. But, of course, if you don't agree with me, feel free to share your opinion in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, you should watch one of these ones next. Until next time, thank you for watching.